New information in a local child abuse investigation. Two caregivers at the Miniland Academy at the Glen in Woodbridge have been arrested and charged with two felony counts and two misdemeanors each. Yeah, they are accused of cruel and abusive treatment toward toddlers under their care. Peggy Fox has the story. The two women were arraigned on their charges in court this morning and released on bond. But when you read through the charging documents and the CPS investigation, it's as if they actually enjoyed torturing small defenseless children. It's like it's really uh, unbelievable. Guess it's very hard to believe that a human being can do such a stuff of things to yeah. kids. Despite criminal charges against two caregivers at the Miniland Academy in Woodbridge, some parents were still left in the dark this morning. You know they're form of damage control was more so protecting themselves instead of the children and keeping the parents aware. I mean, it was out. We felt like we were blindsided. One felony charge against 29-year-old Sarah Jordan alleges she sprayed a toddler in the face and chest with water, knowing the small child did not like it. The other charge says Jordan tripped a toddler on purpose and laughed when she fell down. One of the cruelty charges against 24-year-old Kiera Nicole Spriggs says she bit the fingertip of a toddler to show her what it felt like since she was biting other children in class. The other felony count accuses Spriggs of stepping on a toddler's bare foot to show him what could happen when he takes his shoes off. Commonwealth attorney Paul Ebert says the women's actions appear to result from unjustified discipline. Parents are very concerned. There's no, nothing more precious than a little child and the pa parents uh, certainly have every right to be concerned. Mm -hmm. The Virginia Department of Social Services says at least nine children were allegedly mistreated at the Miniland Academy. The DSS report includes another allegation that women also gave toddlers flaming hot Cheetos to watch their reaction. Neither of the accused women answered their doors, but a neighbor expressed his opinion. It's was shocking, really. I mean, people who you think you trust to take care of your kids, and you hear that the way how they deal with the kids. I mean, unacceptable. Now, the Virginia Department of Social Services has been investigating Miniland since January, but Prince William County Police didn't know about it until a few weeks ago. There could be more charges. Commonwealth's attorney, Paul Ebert, says of particular concern is the fact that people who work at daycares are legally required to report suspected abuse, and that may not have happened. In Manassas, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.